Right, hello everybody, welcome to the final of Group F, Blitz Pit Qualifier, um, Calcium bested me in the semis, he's up against Hawker, who is a tabletop legend, and accompanying me in the booth, and Fumble as well actually, isn't he? Accompanying in the, no, that's Bazza, I was wrong. Accompanying the booth yep. is PC, hello PC. Good evening Jimmy, I'm really looking forward to this one, cracking day in the Blitz Pit, and this is going to be an awesome final, I hope. Yeah, let's let's hope so. And Hulk has done the right thing, unlike me, which was choosing to kick against the Woodies. So now, you know, Calcium doesn't have that certainty of a touchdown ends it um, like he had against me and stuff. So it gives, mm. it does put the pressure. I don't know why I chose to kick, honestly. Oh, I don't like this assist, Bliss assists here because now if it's a push, he's going to be basing somebody. All sorts of tough choices to take if you're Calcium reasonably quickly and turn him over in the first half for a 2-0 are you trying to just hold out score late and hope to do things in the second half but you might not have enough elves left yeah. so it really does put the pressure on Calcium for some decision making at a time where he's only got a minute to turn yeah it looks like Calcium's just going for this doesn't it it looks like he's going for the score turnover for sure he, put his tree out. he didn't even put his three on all three guys but I guess he's put it on two so he doesn't get punched easily yeah he can he can hold two Saurus as well. He can't hold the Crocs as well, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, this is very aggro. Obviously, he's got catch, but he can get one deed by a skink. So. Yeah, and with skinks it. being stunty, they can also get in and for the evil assists. It really, really want to. I think I would have rather had it on the air. I think I would have taken the risk. I guess he's only got two re-rolls. Mm. It's the problem with Woody's. We talked about this before in uh, one of Calcium's games. You know, Woody's build beautifully, but they do only get two re-rolls. You've got to be careful with them. And one of those comes from a leader. Yeah. So if the leader goes off pitch, it suddenly starts to look really tough. Yeah, Calcium's actually only got one re-roll. Yeah, the other one. So I, I did hit the leader with a mummy when I had the chance. But didn't yep. remove him, and then he didn't fail anything, so it didn't matter that he only had two rerolls. <laughs> well, nothing no. important. He did fail some. He did fail some irrelevant. I mean, of course, they do come with a lot of built-in rerolls, a lot of dodge pitch. Yeah, yeah, he's got loads of catches, hasn't he? So he's got loads of dodge. Yeah. The dancers have got dodge, and he's given block to his like you know he's got, given block to his catches. Got block on his uh, dancers automatically, so he's already got plenty of block and. And plenty of team reroll, uh, built-in rerolls. Yeah, as you say, and the tree you never use a reroll on anyway. So he's almost nope. like built-in rerolls because you, you would never reroll them. <laughs> I mean, to some degree, the tree. If those uh, if those lizards didn't have break tackle, the tree might not even hit. Might just choose to stand there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But of course, the two lizards it's basing right now both have break tackle, so the could tree could be left in a forest of one. <laughs> So Hawk is just not not slamming the door here. He's leaving it. He's leaving the door ajar. Yeah, it's a lot of people say if they and it gives you 15 turns to hit back and score two. So perhaps that's what he's thinking here. Is yeah, score if you want to score. I'll take the ball. I'll take a line of scrimmage set of hits, and I'll remove a load of elves. Yeah, I'd be happy. As I said, those game. lizards just wandering away from the tree. Yeah. Now, perhaps that was an argument for reading those skills and basing the crocs instead, but yes, yeah, that was the thing, wasn't it? So will calcium just blitz, dodge, blitz a, a skink here? I think you've got to try and take a skink out again. The lizards are—they don't come with a—they come with a bench of one, which means no. I mean, and they've got an apothecary, uh, yeah, which means an apothecary, but only two rerolls. So the standard lizard question is, do you go with the bench, do you go with a third re-roll? And if you want the apothecary, you can't have an apothecary, a bench, and a third re-roll. One of those three has to go. And here it's the re-roll. Yeah, only two. So there we are, the classic two-turn elf score. Yeah. Giving him lots of time to turn them over, but also the lizard's a lot of time for hitting. Yeah, so actually, so do you know what? Actually, maybe that helped me uh, kick receiving now, because if Calcium had done that, um, I would have let him do that in the first half, whereas obviously I couldn't have thought I'd let him do it in the second half, so who knows? Yeah. <laughs> well, 
who knows whether yeah, it's better. It's easy to be wise about the, the choices you didn't make, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, that time I didn't ask Angelina Jolie out, perhaps she would have said yes. Yeah, maybe she would have. I mean, maybe if you'd done something weird, like drinking drinking your own blood or something, she'd have probably gone, yeah, sure. She does go for actors, you know. <laughs> yeah, her, her and Billy Bob Thornton had, like, vials of their blood round their necks or something stupid, didn't they? Yes. So. Yes, giving actors a bad name for a long time. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we've seen all this is almost a one turn defence here. They're trying to get some control on the sidelines whilst keeping enough back, you know, that the dancers there where they can do some damage. If things do try and get up them quickly. I think actually what we'll see the lizards do is try and stretch this play. Keep some strength up front and drop the ball way back with the skinks. Try and pull some elves into the backfield and hit them there. Yeah. But I could be wrong. He might try and push up early down a side. I don't think he oh, will. I think he'll try. No, and, yeah. I don't think he will. I'm just trying to create a bit of tension. <laughs> 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 yeah, bash him up, stretch the field, and then, uh, and then, because he, he can, he's movement eight. So he, although, although, like they're not as fast as a team, the skinks are super fast, aren't they? So like, you know, yeah. if he can get. You know, if he can split the dancers up or, or get both dancers on one side, like that could happen, couldn't it? He could just ditch them. Yeah. Well, I mean, you say they're not that quick. Remember, their big guy is still move six. That's as quick as the big guy goes. Their lizards are strength four and move six. That's as quick as anything else with strength four. Oh, yeah. Except with bulls have sprint. But, you know, still a, a strength four, six strength four with six move is pretty damn fast. Oh, yeah. It's just but that not, not as, as fast as Woody's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and particularly with that deep kick, absolutely, we're seeing just a couple of Sauruses go back to hell. We'll see all the skinks in the backfield and some hitting up front. But unlike Jimmy, we're not seeing that. Ooh, and that's one of the re rolls gone. But that the, the, is the kick off, huge. It's not that huge Quite because the kickoff it. result gave him an extra one. Yeah, it gave them both an extra re roll, didn't it? Yeah, it did, yeah, but calcium hasn't all double scores yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, so Calcium does have a 3-2 to two re reroll advantage and the bonus re-roll is gone for the Lizards. I still, I think he had to anyway, didn't he? Oh yeah, I think he had to, yeah. But I mean, he'd be a lot more dodgy with one re-roll than two, wouldn't he? Rega oh, and that's yeah, a, that's a nice push for Calcium. So if I remember when I was school, two is still less than three. Yeah. Would you have not it's stood still firm still reasons there? for positivity. Would you have not stood firm there? Because if he doesn't stand just, firm, ah. he's, he's still on the Saurus, isn't he? He gets to 2D that Saurus and follow into yeah. the Crocs. Yeah, and then still has the Crocs tied up. Yeah, I think you, you might be right. Mm. And also, it would have made that blitz somewhat <laughs> impossible. Though, of course, then he might have blitzed an elf. And really, you want the tree being blitzed. Yeah. So perhaps it did work out for the better. Yeah. Quite narrow here, isn't he, Harker? So I wonder... Yes. There's a, there, yeah, there is space to get some elves up around the back, isn't there? Yeah. Maybe he still just punches that guy and then doesn't follow. That actually might be the player, might, and he can just punch the punch one of the Saurus and then still keep him on the Crocs and the other guy. Yeah, needs an assist to do it, but of course he can put the assist in in such a way that as long as he gets even a push, it's not in danger afterwards. Yeah. Now he's used half his turn up in thinking. Is he going to go for it? Is he going to hang back? This is the, and this is the thing, isn't it? Like Woodells have got so many options that it's easy to like, yep. you know, pick the wrong. Well, maybe not pick the wrong one, but just spend so much time thinking about all of the options and then run out of time or do the wrong thing or whatever. Whereas if you just go, I'm going to leap in and hit the ball. That's pretty simplistic, and it can't really go yep. wrong, and it also can't really yep. be defended against. <laughs> Cheeky little three plus there to get a tackles on the break tackle Saurus. It does look like he's trying some real. Yeah, he's coming in for it. Oh boy! But did he forget to blitz or just 
not want to. I think he's going to do it with a dancer, isn't he? Or is he coming in with a blitz now with the dancer? Yeah. I think he is. He's put that assist in, so it doesn't matter if he's doing it from touching the Saurus. Here we go. <laughs> Can't see him. Oh, he's failed the dice roll. Oh, oh God, he didn't do the extra square. Oh, I don't like that so much. A bitch cheeky to take on the four plus, even with dodge. That's a that's a one in four fail. Yeah. Slightly unlucky not to get there, but you know, with a leap that's a three plus, and then a dodge that's a four plus, that was asking for some nice dice. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have liked the two plus dodge and the GFI. Yeah, me too. But again, thinking time is so tight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Sometimes you, know, you see a route, and you, you just have to go for it. You have to commit and say it's that's the route I'm going for, even if it's suboptimal. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a misclick due to time. Yeah, like the time that I had to pick up and run away um, against the orgs. Like I just, you know, I nearly ran out of time, didn't I? And that could have looked really bad yep. if I hadn't even gone for it yet. <laughs> But I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? He's just got again. He's just got a three plus to hit the ball. Like he's going to have a three plus to hit the ball every turn. That seemed like a bit yep. of a waste of time doing all that. Yeah, and he's got either a strip ball or a tackler to go with, so he's going to have two options to how to do. Yeah. Which is why we're seeing the Venga bus cage, isn't it? It's to try and find some way to stop them being in. But even yeah, then... it's no, it's no good though, is it? When in contact with, oh. uh, I guess, yeah, and he needs to knock down the tree to get another Saurus in, or, or the Skink needs to get in. Well, here, I mean, here he absolutely needs to close that front door, doesn't he? Because the elf touching both of those uh, Sauruses up the front means there's a supposed to leap in where it's two dice as soon as you're there yeah. with a single elf. So, yeah, he does need to get something else into that yeah. cage, he really, and, uh, and have a three Saurus in front of the ball. Yeah, he fails a one in nine. He could even just make a block here, couldn't he? But no, nah, not really. I think he's fails a one in nine. Now that doesn't happen normally, does it, Jimmy? No, no, I can't remember. I can't remember anybody failing a one in nine against me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I did feel it was absolutely poetic justice when you'd failed so many one in nines, and then he failed that one in nine. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, that was pretty cool. But then I still. I mean, I bet he was cursing his luck, but he had no right to. Yeah. Yeah, I felt. Now, does he go with the tackle and a one die? That's a single leap. Or does he take the strip ball in, come around the front of the cage, and leap into that space I said where it's all cancelled and he gets two dice? I we can block here. That's better than leaping, isn't it? Because he, then, yeah, um... he could even block a way in and not have to leap. Yeah. Oh, he's leaping in. Oh, it would be a out. one die without block on block to push it, but oh, so he's, he's doing that. So he's got the leap in, and then the, they've both got assists. Okay. Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a lot of pressure. On and of course, that. it gives it also. What I do like about this is it gives some lovely places to land. Yeah, absolutely. Not straight. Oh, oh. <laughs> just gonna put the reroll in and get. Just pushes in a skull on the four dice. <laughs> now the lizard's a long way from out of problems here, but they can't be unhappy with how that ended. Mm. It looked unsafe, was unsafe, but all worked out okay. Yep. Except now he might get surfed. Oh, well, you've got to hope so. <laughs> Yeah, that was the bad. That was the bad thing about going for the ball here. <laughs> Funnily enough, this is exactly what happened to uh, Skuro as well, wasn't it? So, Hawker must like yeah. going to the sideline and surfing dancers after they fail. Wish, wish anyone ever failed against me. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? Four dice from Calcium there the, the on the ball. Four dice doesn't get the knockdown. And then against me, yeah, and dice and did. On each of those dice, three of the options were good because it was a tackler. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty good odds of one of them working. I bet calcium is raging. <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy good odds, wasn't it? I 
think I preferred going for the, the, the stripper hit though, honestly, just because the tackler can, can attrition blitz skinks, can't he? So yep. I think I would have rather gone for well, the, uh, he won't be able to anymore. No. <laughs> well, not unless we see a one in eighty one. No. Right, he's off. Yeah, he's gone. Is Zuki Rayun Club Union But he's not hurt, he can just spend the next uh, five turns painting his nails, ready for the second half. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna make this one in now. Yep. Yeah. And he can't really protect the ball very well. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I was just thinking, where's this ball going? Because there's still a strip baller. Yeah, I guess it's a handoff, yeah. But even then, that's where. You can still see plenty of ways this can go wrong. <laughs> just fucking. He's just gone fucking. Where the five plus Jesus Christ. With out which this position was horrific, but with that five plus, it's suddenly looking reasonably stable. Wow, that was rude. <laughs> wow. At shades of that guy with his black oak dodge against me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that four plus really did change the position entirely that turn, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, a five plus. My God. <laughs> Very early in the game for casually throwing a five plus, but it worked, and anything that works is a good plan. Yeah, uh, the leap works. This a... time he gets a dice that's useful and removes the skink. Where's that ball going? <laughs> oh my god! If it goes behind the tree, two squares are amazing. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't one of the amazing ones. Oof. Though, in the tree tackle zone, there's there's worse places to be than that. Yeah. Now, is he going to try pushing a Saurus onto it and hope for a better bounce? That's, uh, that's a thrower, so it has, he has got the two assists free to get yeah. two dice on that Saurus. He could even try the 1D, yeah, right? Looks like so he is. I think he'd just try he the could. 1D. Yeah, you only need a push, of course, to just give it another bounce, see where it ends up. And more or less all roulette bouncing is good for elves. Yeah. Yes, he gets the power. <laughs> oh, well, after those uh, four dice didn't get one, I'm not going to begrudge him it. And then, oh. the He's surf. had this before, a catch that he didn't perhaps want to catch with. Yep, and he's the surf dancer part two. That said, the lizards are short of any tackle. Could surf him though, couldn't he? Again. Ooh, it's a long way to serve a dancer. I mean, doable, <laughs> but yes. Well, surf looking less like Opens you know. up with a pow. Yeah. yeah. If you were surfing, you probably would have wanted that Saurus as part of it, so. Yeah. You can ping pong in between all of the, uh, all of the Saurus now, can't you? Yes. Can get a lot of chances. There's at least oh. three sauruses and a crocs that can get hit so dancer now. And yet he's chosen to move it the other way, which yeah, I think is interesting still, and terrible. Still going for the surf here. Yeah. Gets the power though. Yeah, he can still surf easily. Yeah, fair enough, Dale. He was still. Yeah, because he's still got the blitz, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, well, that was the thing. Like, obviously, you're going to take the power, but you can still go for the surf as well, can't you? Yeah. Same time. Again, though, I'm wondering where this is going to go. That's going to be safe. So this is about creating space. Oof. I thought. It gives him gives him skink a dodge now. That with that blitz. Yeah, I wonder if he actually remembered there was a sidestep there, because mm. he tried to hit a sidestep without block, and mm. with two dice, that's just not brilliant odds. If he fails the pickup here, he's in a horrible situation, isn't he? For all the dodge or the pickup. Yeah, Two, all sorts of trouble if this does fail. And he's got the dodge to be first. Pops the dodge, but the reroll works fine. Oh, fails the pickup. Oh, and there's the and ball. Fails the reroll on it. 
God, there's the ball. Well, I wonder if calcium can work out. In a place that... <laughs> I wonder if Calcium can finish touching himself in time to actually play this turn. <laughs> I wonder if Calcium can work out a plate to get the ball here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, as I said, first 30 seconds, he's probably just wiping it up now. <laughs> and honestly, that, that, that was that extra move, wasn't it? That was that extra one in nine that he gave himself by taking yeah. that blitz, led to the fail. So he's got yeah, no one to blame I thought that blitz was here. shocking, to be honest. I know he was trying to create space, and a power would have done that, but I thought it was a shocking and a bad blitz. Yeah, yeah. Even with block, that was risky. But with a break tackle, Soros, I thought it wasn't. It wasn't the right place. Yeah, agreed. I'm surprised he didn't pick up with the blocker, honestly, because is he just going to score this turn? No. Yeah, he is. Well, there we are. 2 0. He's given the. I mean, the Lizards now have to get a, a score in the next three turns, don't they? Or yeah. else this is surely. Yeah, and Calcium's got two re rolls and a tackler and a stripper on the field. So Calcium could go and in the still half got time 3 0 up here. Still got 11 elves. He's still got an apothecary. Oh, no, Calcium. No, I don't like this. No. No. I'd go for the 3 0. Uh, not sure backlining. One, two, three, four, five. Look, the upside of this is it is denying the skinks downfield space, isn't it? Yeah. But still, I, I think I think in this situation, you, you you're forcing them to make like risks to go for the, like they have to go for the three turn. Hawker has to go for a three turn. Completely seeding the middle of the field when he's got three turns to score. And no pressure on a misfield, all sorts of downsides. Yeah, yeah, I think this was the play. Maybe not this setup, though. He's got a, he's left a hole, hasn't he? But then maybe that's on purpose. Okay, he's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that he listened. He might have just changed his mind to be it. But I think, yeah, I think you, you stall if you're just going to do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is like the. Uh, <laughs> the canoring chevrons. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I thought it was two turns. Yeah, I think I think just stall for the two nil is is fine. But I don't I don't hate going for the three nil because now Hawker is completely uh, completely committed to going for the like he has to go for the score, hasn't he? Like in one of my games, I I wimped out. Of, of, Trying to score, I can't remember if that was in blitz pit or something. Two one down, ball in hand. You can still try and push on for overtime. Two nil down, ball in hand. You're in all sorts of problems, particularly as he is not managing to remove elves right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, I think it was. I think it was my undead, wasn't it? In uh, in the playoffs, I uh, I got to like a dodgy spot and I didn't even try to score because I thought the elves were gonna like or vampires. I thought the vampires. I don't know. It was vampires. Uh, yeah, it was vampires. I thought the vampires were gonna get the ball off me and that if I if I tried to score. So I just didn't even try to score on my drive. Um, right. And, and you can do that sometimes, can't you, against elves? But you can't now. Like Hawker has to go for this hundred percent. So I think it's a good good spot to kind of try and put some pressure on. No, I've never done that. What would happen if he didn't have three on the line of scrimmage when the minute ran out? <laughs> well, I don't know. That is a good point. If it, was an if it was an illegal setup, but no time left, I wonder what would happen. Yeah. Someone must know. Yeah. Now, finally, we see an elf off the pitch. Yeah, but it's just a shitter. It's only a KO. It's a shitter. He's, yeah, he's not wasting his app off on that. <laughs> not when he has two dancers that are the sort of players that the skinks have nightmares about. Uh, there you go, people in the chat new. Just moves a random player. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense, rather than sort of giving them endless time to sort it. Yeah. It does look that way, doesn't it, Squirrel Dude? Yeah, he seems... I, I know he enjoys fouling people and bashing people and fouling people, but yeah, maybe his true calling is to is to roll leap dice. 
Good evening, Ardvac. Yeah, this is this is still Blood Bowl ongoing. Um, but absolutely, we'll uh, we'll do that. We'll cover the racing after. And right now, it looks very much like Calcium's taking his place in the group stage, yeah. which is the next part of this. And then the uh, half the people in the group stage will go on into the grand final, uh, where anyone that's won it before gets an automatic ticket too. And then those final 16 will play a, a traditional blitz pit with a thousand pounds at stake. And you've already won, haven't you, PC? So you're already in there. Is, is that am I correct in that? I did. I got very, very lucky in a blitz pit and managed to win one. So I do get a ticket straight into those finals if I choose to accept it. Glorious. There were some good dice rolls from Hawker there, weren't there, to get that guy in front? You needed him. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, stunties obviously can go anywhere, but stuff often don't. But look at this, though. This is uh, now he's... this is interesting, isn't it? Do you uh... all sorts of fun plays here? And again, Calcium's got very little time to decide which one he's going for. Yeah, clearly he's got the strip ball and the tackle, both of which can threaten that skink. And because the Saurus didn't man manage to get round the back, you know, all he needs to do is cancel those tackle zones and leap in. And he does have two two re rolls, as we talked about before. So. It's looking bleak for Hawker. He needs again for Calcium to fail probably four more dice. He could uphill for a push, couldn't he? And then he could even make the surf. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Or he can also, also leap one in and then leap the other in and definitely have a surf. Yeah. Or like I said, all sorts of plays possible here, but he is just going straight for the two die. Finally fails a, dod uh, a leap, but plenty of dice for the reroll. Yeah. Oh, but he fails it on the second go. Oof. Only stuns his uh, dancer, but that is creating that, ch that chance, of course, for the 2-1 the that Hawker really needs to make the second half competitive. Yeah. And hence, maybe despite he loving Calcium like a, like a, like a, you know, a brother from another mother, <laughs> the fact is I kind of want this to go in and make the second half fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, you can't uphill without work. I mean, you could, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good. Like, it would stop you having to do the leap, though, wouldn't it? So it wouldn't just like it wouldn't just be for the surf. It could also you could also use it to stop having to leap in. So yeah, 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 yeah. There were two options there if you were you know if you chose that option to go through with it. But I didn't I didn't hate the option he went for. You know that leap was a one in nine fail. Yeah, yeah. I mean, could have just gone safe and blitzed the lead skink and and had the tackle yeah. still around. Yeah, walled up in front of, of it. Things. Loads of things he could have done. No, no re -rolls is he going in on the, I think he's going in on this turn, isn't he? And leaving yeah. Calcium a one turn. Yeah. I think he's got to, hasn't he? Yeah. Of course he does. Yeah. So we are 2 1, but Calcium has one turned in a minute before. And it was also in, it was a turn seven. So is he going to one turn in a minute again? Definitely with a re roll, he will go for it. Calcium is not shy at taking chances. We've seen that all blitz, but. Yeah. Um, now it's slightly harder here because of course there's two strength four and a strength five on the line that might make it tough yeah the thing is though Wolfpack right if you're going to consider an uphill with no block you can do two leaps however if you do it that way then there's no dancer there's no dancer at risk is there that's the thing it's just a shitter and you've got the you can have like a tackle dancer back screening and stuff so you could have made it like you could have moved the tackle about like you, it, it would have been yeah. pros and cons to doing it I'm not saying that it was like it was yeah I mean I could, I could find though. five six different good plans for that term but as you're saying Jimmy if you wanted to mix safety and risk you could have put a nice screen back including your tackler then you could have tried the two die uphill and you needed a push and then you could have leaped in with the strip ball going for the surf yeah uh, or just come in the back route with the strip ball looking to you know just knock the ball out and hope it goes off the edge yeah. there were all sorts of ways of playing that turn i didn't hate the way calcium did it it was a nice simple plan yeah yeah there was no there was no right or wrong play yeah for sure there were so many ways that you, that, that turn could have been played and although you can samber it and say, oh, this one had an 82% <laughs> chance and this one an 81.5% chance, you know, then you've got to look at the fail states. And as Jimmy says, are you risking pieces that you really want available for the second half or are you keeping them safe? There's so many different factors outside just the odds of it working to consider in a format like this that we could argue about it all night and not have a definitive answer. Exactly, yeah, that's the thing. 
And I've always said I don't mind placing, playing people that play solely by the odds and the, you know, the sambas because there's bits of the game they're not considering. Yeah. Should he have? Uh... Wow! <laughs> um... <laughs> Should he have GFI'd and then just put the guy there so he could have got the push on the... Fr I think he probably should have done. Mm, don't know. Mm. Yeah, I think it's better. So that first one was a push rather than into the hole. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the Wood Elf expert. Weirdly, Hawker is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he should have done with one minute turns, to be honest. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? I, what I probably would yeah. have done if I was going to be playing this team would be working out the best play, to, the best way to score one turns with movement, well, with movement nine sidestep and uh, yeah. trying to work it all out before the tournament started because you don't have to do it on the fly, do you? Yeah, but then do you expect to be doing it against a lopsided Saurus and two, uh, two Saurus and Croxigore? line of scrimmage you know how much can you anticipate and expect and prepare for and then you've only got a minute to set it up and a minute to execute which oh, is yeah. really tight I mean you know I don't know if you've played a lot of NAF tournaments where you're against someone one turning and they spend 15 minutes setting it up yes I have I have experienced that indeed but I mean I think you would I think if I was going to be using elves in this I would have tried to to do that you know, I would have practiced it. I, I've never practiced one turns before ever, but I think I would have practiced it for this, just because. Yeah. You know, one minute is is hard, isn't it? To be fair. It is hard. It's very very tough. I mean, I'm not a great believer. A lot of people, you know, set up practice games with the team they're facing and one of their mates coaching it instead. And as you said, practice all sorts of formats for their kickoffs and things. I've never been a big one for that. I kind of believe you need to be able to improvise on your feet. Oof. Well, <laughs> uh, we do see some elves finally going off the pitch. Is it enough, though? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, despite going 2 0 up now, um, Hawker's probably thinking, I've only got to score one and I push it to overtime. You know, the elves are low on armor, low on re rolls. I'm not sure he's going to try and score and turn the elves over. I think here the better play is score in turn eight. Yeah. remove enough elves they can't one turn and then beat them in overtime but he's not got enough elves off quite yet no I mean keeping the ball safe against people who can leap at leap and 2d you any single turn is is tricky yeah so. doing that for eight turns is challenging and as we saw when he dropped back in the first half all that means is the elves are going to come at you yeah yep <laughs> calcium can't even spell practice <laughs> <laughs> <That's brilliant. laughs> yeah, I think he had to push directly into the sidestepper. Yeah, yeah, I think the gap, the whole method is, is not the way. It, I mean, it, it does add an extra dice, doesn't it? But as you said, the only other way is to add a go for it. So I kind of understand why he didn't, but I. I'm with you. I would rather be pushing the one that I want to score with from the very first hit. But I'm not going to blame him for it. You know, it was a good plan that he did made. It made a chance to get the one turn working, and, and then the dice didn't come from. So, <gasps> oh dear, not what the lizards are wanting to see. But Although it's quite, you know, it's quite good for them if it's on the other side. On my that's crazy that he's he's lucky he hasn't got a symmetrical he's got an asymmetrical setup and it's gone to the side with the extra saurus. That's <laughs> that's pretty bloody lucky, yep. isn't it? <laughs> it really, really is. Wow. And really interesting that he kept his crocs off the line as well. Yeah. Christ. Wanted that tail fella free. Could you imagine if it had gone the other side, just blitzed this saurus down and just got it in a cage? <laughs> Oh no, Calcium's rolling. Down. I don't know about you, every time there's a blitz, I hear Admiral Akbar in my head going, it's a trap. Yeah, I really don't like that going for the blockless guy as well. Mm. Really don't like it on the blockless guy. And yet, it was the one that could get there the quickest, so... It, again, it's always defendable with Wood Elves, isn't it? You can always see why, and yet you may have done it a different way. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not terrible or anything. 
Not sure I like that stack in the line of scrimmage. I guess that was to create a hole and bring the other dancer through, but that one that went on the line of scrimmage, I mean, why not make that a, a two die on the Saurus? Yeah. I guess it does mean that Saurus, you know, you can't block the other elf off it. It now means that Saurus near the ball is tied up. Yeah. But again, so many choices and so many of them have ups and downs that. Yeah, and this one isn't, is it? That's the thing. So now he's freed up this, he's got three dice with block. Yeah, but he has got sidestep, so yes, he'll be looking a sidestep between those two elves, doesn't he? Yeah, whether it powers or not. No, unfortunately, the both down was perhaps the worst option for him there. Didn't get to choose where he fell. Yeah. And of course, the best option for Hawker. We shouldn't be. Yes, yeah, shouldn't be too uh, too biased here. <laughs> I can't help it though. I mean, that, it's okay to be biased. Like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call yeah. Hawker stupid and say everything does cal calcium does is perfect, right? Not not biased oh, no, in I mean, that way. Hawker Just, is an incredible coach. I've played him. He is. I played him in a in the TSD Blood Bowl two. Uh, I played him in the semi finals at the very first season of TSD. Yeah. Uh, K Fogs uh, NAF style Blood Bowl two league. And I also played him on tabletop at the NAF Championships. Uh, both times it was his um, Wood Elves against my Dwarves. In the NAF C, I beat him, and in the TSD, he beat me. He is a cracking coach. Though, as I said, probably best known for his Wood Elf play. Yeah. But having said that, I still want Cals to win. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think both of us have been very open about that. But I, yeah. you know, I rate Hawker as a human being and as a coach. He's a lovely, lovely guy, a mainstay of Team Wales. A cracking coach. I mean, really, really top quality. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And not that you get to know people deeply and intimately by playing them at Blood Bowl, but <laughs> my read on him when I did meet him was a really lovely human as well. He's got the air, but you can still cut in the back here, can't you? One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. the problem, I mean, the Venger cage is a nice shape against Wood Elves, but there's always ways into it. Yeah. And especially when you're a skink, like that's the thing, isn't it? It's two D on him is yeah. a skink, like yeah. Although the, the the one place where you can both cancel and then find the hole for two D here is kind of hard to get to this turn, so I'm not sure we're going to see him going for it. No. Um, some coaches would. There's a, a legendary coach called Spartaco, very very good Italian coach, and he will go for you every single turn. He yeah. is relentless. Um, and he's, he's got a way of playing that and somehow making that work yeah yeah that's, that's the beauty of elves isn't it you can do it you can do it anyway and it, it's got a decent chance of working <laughs> yeah I mean and that's true of so many races not all races in Blood Bowl um, there are some that really do reward one particular type of play style over another but you know with so many races there are different ways to build them different ways to coach them and all of them can be successful so often it's you down to really knowing what skills you've got and how best to use them. Uh, so we're trying the one die this time. Carlson went really It's with the strip around. baller, so you know, really good odds of that working. That was a, a one in six fail for the strip ball, either not working or a power not working there. Yep. So we've loosed the ball and it's gone into the trees tackle zone. Again, a nice place for it to be. But that was real bad having that guy there, wasn't it? He, you know, like obviously he'd have wanted to dodge away first, so he could have pushed him there. But he, he, yep. he you know, you don't want to make the dice roll, do you? So no. go for the five plus pickup. <laughs> Nearly gets it. He can't re-roll that, can he? No, no, no. I don't know whether I'd have gone for the pickup, to be honest. But no, I'm not. I might just have put something else in basing as well. Yeah. No, from behind where nothing was touching it. Yep. And now he gets powered and the scatter away from the tree. Yep. Still, he survives the pow. So, again, there could have been worse outcomes. Indeed. Survives the 3D. <laughs> and Hawker's experienced enough that he won't be panicking. He knows he's got the time. 
that you know if he can get it over for 2-2 if he can chip a couple of L's as he does it this can still turn into a, a, an easy uh, win for him in the overtime yeah but it can also go horribly wrong on any turn because elves <laughs> yeah yeah and obviously calcium down to one reroll is uh yeah it's very very uh nice for hawker now interestingly for fans of kick equity uh <laughs> no one has the fame advantage here so if it does come to rerolls being given out it's it's all up in the air and this thrower no longer has leader because the leader is gone. So yep. Calcium doesn't need to worry about protecting him or anything anymore. Making the huge three pluses every time, Hawker. I mean, that, that's another good reason to go for the hits on the ball, just because it forces Hawker yeah. into re-rolling the pickup fail, doesn't it? Pretty much. Absolutely. He hasn't taken a sure hand skink. Some people do. Um, I really can't justify it myself, but some people do. Well, I mean, if, if you're allowed doubles, your only other choice is like a block crocs, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, it's here? very, very rare that that, um, that lizards, because they're considered a tier one team, are, are getting access to a double. Yeah, he's running out of time, and uh, this ball. Yeah. Well, it, it is one thing about Hawker. I'm not sure how experienced he is at this, either with the BB2 client, although. I have played him there and he does seem to know what he's doing but certainly in this very tight time format yeah I mean in NAF tournaments you really do get almost as much time as you want yes there's no illegal procedures called and although people do try and play to a reasonable time frame you know the amount allocated for each game is usually between two and a quarter and two and three quarter hours <laughs> yeah that's where I would have wanted to push him to actually I can see why he did it but that's where I would have wanted to push him I would have rather just cancelled the Crocs assist and then hit from like in between the crocs and the skink and push to that square. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Maybe he's just going to blitz with a catcher here. Well, it's doable because, of course, skinks have so little strength that as long as you can get a single assist in, this is two die, isn't it? And he does have that. He's a, a blodge catcher. So that both down does do it. Wow. Oh my god, and he can, he can, he can move this crocosaurus out of the way. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Now there is a Saurus hidden in behind that tree, isn't there? So if the tree, yes, if it moves it, suddenly it's a three plus to pick it up. Yeah. And at three one, you'd have to think this is done. <laughs> yeah. He does move it. Not only moves it, he knocks it over. <laughs> Now we've seen calcium not worry about a three plus dodge before, so I think we're going to see the war dancer pick it up and dodge through. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And then maybe hand off to the other one, <laughs> or pass it to him. It doesn't really achieve anything, though, does it? Does it anyway? No, it's, well, it gets it <laughs> slightly further away from the skink, slightly the, further down the field. If, if he'd had the catcher, if he could have, if he could have had the catcher like two squares up, couldn't he? And he would have had a little, a nice little screen there. He could, but that was such a developing turn. It's really hard to know at the start of it where you're going to need things at the end, and some of them just need to get moved. Oh yeah, yeah. So in, I, in I understand minute. why you moved. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not slating calcium there, but like, oh, it, yeah, it if, doesn't if you... get the pound now. This is huge. Yes. I have to say, this is looking very advantage calcium. Yep, absolutely. Once again, can he stop touching himself long enough to get this scored? <laughs> yep. <laughs> now we're probably going to see a Crocs round in front of it as well. Yep, there we go. And again, always with wood elves like sort of vampires and slan or kislev, whichever you want to call them, you've always got several different options. You can come out backwards here, around the back of that little cage around the ball, and then throw or to the catcher, or you can leap over and hand off to the catcher, or you can leap over and run away. There's so many different ways of playing this. None of them particularly leap, bad, leap all with different it. fail states, different upsides. Yeah, he's got these skinks, hasn't he? So I'm thinking at the moment he's going to bring in the skink around the back. 
which is yeah to close that yeah out the back option and then it's almost certainly a leap over isn't it yeah I would think so but only stood up this other skink so yeah I, I think that was a strange choice I didn't quite get it I'd want all my pieces active and doing things here yeah he's definitely he's stopping the, the dancer coming out backwards now it's a question of can he stop him going out forwards with a leap yeah and I think with the catcher where it is suddenly that's looking a really nice position for the catcher still a lot of work for this skink to do to get somewhere useful yeah I think that's mm. I would want to be in that square I've highlighted as the leap and handoff option he doesn't get there. Right, to me it's the 3 plus 2 plus. Whether that's a handoff or a dodge away, I think that's the way this gets done. He's got one reroll. He just needs it to work. Oh, if he'd powered him there, he could have just surfed the skink and gone out the back, couldn't he? Yep, yep. That would have given him the out-the-back option again, but it's not there. Just needed that pow. Oh, man. Yeah, that would have, that was really... A lot of people, I'm sure, Kyle's team would have loved going around the back, but it's not to be an option tonight. It yeah, just leaps. <laughs> yeah, does the leap and the handoff, as I called it. And there we are. Now he can stall right on the other side. Yeah, he can. Get another turn out of this if he chooses to. He can. He can only be based, can't he, by that skink? Yeah. What about this Saurus? And even yeah, then, it's, the it's, it's all the dice to base it, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not even sure it can. Can it get there? I don't know that it can. One, yeah, he, two, he can base three, him, that's all. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can base him. <laughs> he can force a 1 in 36. Yeah, which, which calls him to go for it stop to by it. a 1 in 36 or by scoring. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what Calcium will definitely not be saying to himself if he gets there is, it's only a 1 in 36 that's, that screws me here. Yeah. Because he said that in game one, and as all of us in chat said, well, then he's going to 1 in 36, and sure enough, he did. Yeah, maybe he could have scored there because obviously it was going to be really hard for Hawker to come back from 3-1. Yeah, but yeah. The I, I mean, I didn't hate the score either. Yeah. The... But even if this doesn't, even if he somehow fails the 1-36, in 36, it's still a hell of a long way for them to go. That's true. And, you know, there's still... Oh, God, there's a 1-36. In so now Hawk is out of rerolls. Now Hawk has got no rerolls and two go for it's just a force or one in 36. Yeah. I think we're done, Jimmy. It's sure looking like it. And when you looked at the lineup of Group F, did you did you think, oh, I think Kowski was the favourite here. <laughs> I didn't and think he was the favourite, no. I'll be honest. No, it wasn't the word I would have used. And yet he's coached consistently high quality in every game. Yes, he's had some luck, but as Wood Elves, you play for the luck. Yeah. And most times he's had the luck he's been trying to, or he's known that it was a term where being lucky would be good, and usually the fail states weren't bad. And that's been balanced by things like those eight, those four dice he had with tackle on a blockless skink and rolled all pushes and a skull. So it's not like he's been lucky every single turn. No, absolutely not. No, he's. Uh, As I said in his first game, he had it absolutely dominated till a one in thirty-six cost him that. That very easy win he had lined up. Oof, tackle. So he's kept his emotions in check. He's he's loved it and hated it, but kept pushing on. He's been scrappy and fought for everything, and is going to come away a deserved winner. Yeah, yeah, good for. In Kelsey. a group that was so so strong, packed with chalice winners. Fumble major winners, even you, Jimmy, weren't you? You were there. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the majors winner category, don't worry. Ah, uh, yes, you are, <laughs> and not just for a major with stunties, but an actual proper major. Yep, yep, but also stunty major as well. Two stunty majors. Yes, yes. I still like that I won them, even though it was with like the most broken team ever. <laughs> I like that I won a Speed Freak Challenge, which was the most ridiculous format that ever been. <laughs> and a Pacifist Challenge, which was even more stupid. Yeah. Calcium seems to have forgotten about the, this break tackle Saurus. <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm not sure this stalling turn was the right one. This, I'd have gone in this turn. Yeah. But... Yeah, I would have too. 
I think this is. And as we've seen, Hawker doesn't necessarily mind a five plus, though of course he has now got zero re rolls. Calcium has a re roll, has the ball, it's miles away from the lizards. And even if they get it down, the ball's got a long way to go to be useful for the lizards. True. But if he is stalling, he's stalling at a point where hitting him, you know, there's a chance of getting it off the field and then it can go anywhere. Yeah, there's not really a chance of getting off the field because he's got sidestep, hasn't he? So. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course he has, yes. No, you're right. So he's, uh, he's pretty safe. And actually, the, the way he's put his screen up now, I, I think he's safe as houses with this stall. Yeah. I still wouldn't have stalled this turn. I just didn't think it was necessary. I think 3-1, give him four turns to get to. Yeah, absolutely. I'd have been all right with that. But now he is absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And it, that was the thing. I just wouldn't have wanted to have to use my last reroll on that dodge. Uh, you know, like that was that was why I would have scored. Like, yes, it's worked out all right with him making that two plus. But um, if he hadn't made yeah. that two plus, then you're out with rerolls as well. And yeah, you know, if you do, yeah double one, it. he's now as safe as a young lady at a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Again, I absolutely don't mean to offend anyone. I'm just trying to have some fun. <laughs> That's not safe, says Timmy G. He's as safe as Dimmy G on a spaceship with a knife in his head. <laughs> 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 he's as safe as the President of the United States mm. yeah he's super safe isn't he Mike Pence <laughs> yeah they're not risking him <laughs> he's, as, he's as safe as Dimmy in a gib <laughs> okay now that is genuinely offensive but also funny and true <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Right. So he's going to force the one in 36 by the looks of it. Oh no, he's not. Is he? He's got another guy. He's going to try to force the one in 36. No, he's, he's just going to lose. Yeah. And, and, and look, that's <laughs> all he can do. I absolutely respect. He's playing to the end. We've all seen crazy things happen in Blood Bowl. Yeah. Sometimes if it's your only option, the crazy plan is the best plan. Indeed. Too often I've seen people be just super safe when you just think, yeah, but that loses you the game. Yeah, yeah. And there we are. 3-1, three, three turns left. I think we're done here. Yeah, I think absolutely. we're now talking victory lap. Yeah, for sure. Well done, Calcium. I imagine Calcium is pouring the olive oil on and rubbing his nipples as we speak. Oh, absolutely. A bit of Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> Calcium the champ. Yeah, but I, hey, look, I'm gonna win a chicken dinner. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. I was there was there was no point. I was looking as uh, Calcium as a soft touch in that division whatsoever. It was uh, like yes, he wasn't the favourite because the favourite was probably was probably like between Hawker and Elliot. I would have said. Um, I mean, Hawker had a tough route too. I mean, everyone had a tough route. I mean, to get to the final, I think Hawker's coached incredibly well. Yeah. Um, I mean, I thought you... I, I, I literally I looked at that draw and I thought, normally I could say, I think this one's got a great draw. I didn't think anyone had a great draw. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. Like, I mean, having a having a first round bye was, was just super important because obviously yeah. all games are pretty close to 50-50 anyway, right? They're, they're not like, yep. even, even if you're much better than somebody, it's not that good. So the fact that the fact that yes, I had a buy that did help a lot, and obviously and, Danton and Spider had a buy as well. But, and uh, I mean, let's not underestimate. Both these coaches have played four games of one minute turn blood ball now. Yeah. High pressure, you know, with people watching them on stream every game, yeah. people calling them shitters for everything they do that's stupid. You know, constant judgment, constant pressure, no relent, unrelenting blood ball. Yeah, yeah, and the only and thing they, really that the calcium's done wrong. Is is you can say that that when he moved the catcher back, which could have been a screen if he planned it out. Which, to be fair, yeah. in a fucking minute long turn, that's 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 gonna a hell of a lot, isn't it? Like that's that's crazy. Yeah, crazy and in a minute long turn that was a developing turn as well, where you didn't yeah. know where everything needed to be at the end of the start. Yeah, exactly. So I I still think that's incredibly forgivable. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be incredible with four minute turns. That sorry, that yeah. incredible. That would be forgivable with four minute turns. Much less one minute turns. You know, after four in a row. So yeah, incre yeah absolutely incredible. Well deserved. And I'm sure people know watching this know what I mean by developing turns. But it's a term where because you're trying to take the ball down or move it away, because you've got to bounce it and things, you just don't 100 percent know where you need things to be. Yeah. So right at the start, you think, well, I'm going to try this and try this. But you've also got to be ready to be flexible and make plans up as you go. That's a developing turn to me. And it's it's so hard to get everything in the right place in a turn like that. Yeah, absolutely. So, so you know, that, that I think that's the only thing. Yeah. And it's it would be insane to criticise him for it. <laughs> absolutely. Now, again, this game is not done because Hawker is going to go for a two-turn score and then see if he gets a blitz because there's just a chance. And when there's a chance, you go for it. Because yeah. what's the harm? What can you possibly lose? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, this team's in the bid at the end of this game. And if there's a 1%, if there's a 0.1% chance you can take it to overtime, you go for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, Fire Talkie. Yeah, he made an unnecessary GFI when he went for the strip blitz. That was, that was just definitively a mistake. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair, Fire Talker, that was. But, like... Apart Play from, four games and one minute turns and see if you don't make a mistake. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's like it's again. I wouldn't. I wouldn't criticize I mean, anyone in blitz pit anyway. Really. You know, I've I've played three blitz pitches and and let me tell you, I've played a lot of blood bowl, a lot of tournament blood bowl, a lot of high stress blood bowl, and this saps you. This yeah. leaves you empty. Yeah, it's absolutely brutal. And I'm not someone that gets particularly ragey, and yet it it I found it really draining. Yeah. I mean, loads of fun, but really, really draining. Yeah, it's absolutely grueling, yeah. I agree. Fantastic. So, he saw the problem, saw a way to solve it, and has... So, yeah, that's that's definite now. Now that's the last little percentage. I suppose it isn't. Technically, those sauruses are in range. <laughs> yeah. To score on the next turn, and then a blitz, but it's, you know... Yeah, it's basically done. That's as likely as Angelina Choli giving me another shot. <laughs> oh dear. I thought you were going to say blowjob then, but never mind. <laughs> it's about do those the still happen? <laughs> do people still do that? I've been married 23 years. Is that still a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee monster, yeah. Yeah, uh, Blitz Pit's like once every now and then. Um, it's dictated by the uh, there's a, there's a I don't know if Kadenik's around there is a there is like a Patreon for it which is probably like Patreon slash yeah. Blitzpit or something and if you become part of the Patreon group that supports Blitzpit and, and funds the usually two hundred and fifty dollars um, US that they give away this time I think it's a thousand dollars US I may have misspoke when I said a thousand pounds. Um, yeah. um, if you're one of the people that supports and helps with that you get invited into a little private channel where they sort of talk about who should be invited because up till now it's always been invitation only yeah. um, and settle on you know some names and try and make sure there's a, an interesting mix of coaches um, but anyway it's a, it's a really fun format Gdanik is an absolute legend for, for making it happen I think it's brought a really interesting new way of competing to the Blood Bowl 2 scene yes yeah I think it's great and uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I, I don't know how often it is. It's it's generally as and when they happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's that's the best way to call it. Certainly, no more than you know, every few months, every two to three months. But yeah, I, I don't know if there's a set schedule in Kadenik's mind, or if it's you know when he just feels like doing the next one. Yeah. So when he's got a, a weekend coming up, free or whatever. Yeah. So feel free to drop all the links in the chat, Kadenik, for uh, like the Discord and everything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think this needs be supporting by anyone that feels they can support it because the work done behind the scenes obviously is huge here. Uh, yeah. And to me, it's some of the, I mean, people say best quality blood bowl. There are some fantastic coaches that play in this sort of format and some fantastically fun blood bowl is played. In a minute, you may not see the absolute best coaching you're ever going to see because, you know, how how awesome anyone can be under that kind of time pressure is an interesting factor in itself. But 
it's some cracking blood bowl to watch and to play in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, on, honestly, the, the these games are higher quality than the Rebel playoffs, and then they've got four minute turns to to, to work out what they're gonna do. <laughs> hey guys. Hey Cassian, how was that? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't blame you, mate. That was another awesome coaching display and a fantastic game to watch. Do you know what? I was really nervous early doors. About halfway through the first half, I, I got really nervous and I wasn't time managing. I'm, I'm normally a quick player and right. I wasn't managing my time very well. And I think I, I made a few mistakes. Um, and also, um, but then I thought to myself, I've played ultra aggressive with these Wood Elves the whole tournament. And, and yeah. so I thought, I've just got to keep my foot on the gas, you know, just got to keep that up. Really not give those skinks a moment's peace, you know, not give them a moment to breathe and to sort of create a, a Venga cage or, you know, create shape. Um, and, and my leaps actually, I, I failed one, but the others worked. You know, my war dancers all day today have been on absolute fire. They really have. And I'm just really happy. That was such a tough game. Such a tough game. <laughs> yes, well done, Calcium. Very good. Thank you very much, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired just from watching. That's why it's just like very good. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm absolutely frazzled myself now, and I'm really looking forward to not playing Blood Bowl for the rest of the night. In fact, I'm going to give. I'm going to go and watch a movie or something. I'm not going to be on the PC anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Yeah. Well. Go and pour yourself a nice cold beer. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, incredible. But, um, incredible. Thanks to Hawker. Um, Hawker was really gracious in game uh, and he didn't give up, did he? Um, you know, uh, uh, it would have been quite easy for him to say, oh, Jesus, you know, um, your head goes down. But, you know, I, especially when you're getting wood elfed. Is there anything worse in Blood Bowl than getting wood elfed? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he no. kept coming at you. Yeah. Even when I, you were three one up, he thought if I score in two and get a blitz, it's doable. So he kept coming. Yeah. Well, and and the reset. Um, I think around turn seven, I I very quickly realised, holy cow, he's got three turns, not two. If he had yeah. two turns, I might have set up deeper because he would have had to push in one turn. But because yeah. yep. he had three turns, I I and then again, I tell you what, I thought to myself, I thought, fuck's sake, calcium. Just play to your strengths, you know. Uh, uh, play aggressive. It's what you're best at, you know. And um, yeah, definitely. Uh, and it worked. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you to both you guys. Thank you to Jim for streaming it. Thank you to you, PC, for co-commentating. Um, you know how much. Absolute I love pleasure. Think. So uh, you know, it's yeah, and I'm so freaking happy. I, I, if you'd asked me at the start of today, right, that I would win this thing, I'd have said, behave yourself, you know. Um, <laughs> I, I was probably, it's really weird, um, about a couple of months ago, I had a bit of a meltdown where I wanted some respect in Blood Bowl, you know, and um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, because I, I, like I said to Jim earlier, yeah. I'm, the, I'm, I'm the type of guy that no one expects to win anything, but no one necessarily wants to play either, you know, um, because yep. I, I, I yeah, can yeah. upset anyone or any Blood Bowl player out there on my day. Um, yep. And it's just... Yeah, do you know what? I'm loving playing Wood Elves. I'm, maybe I need to start running CCL Wood Elves because I'm loving, I'm loving them. You know, I'm channeling my inner Anarian as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I was like you. There's a there's a, a very well known NAF coach called Spartaco. He's even more relentless than you. I mean, he comes at you every single turn, but he's super aggressive with Wood Elves. He makes that work, and he's got a fantastic record with them. And I do think for this sort of you know, limited TV, limited number of skills. You seem to know exactly when to, what you need to do and when you need to get lucky. And then if you do get lucky, but you've gone for it on the right turn in the right way, that's really, yeah, I know Spicego plays BB2. He also plays Fumble. He also plays Naff. He plays yeah. any kind of blood ball he can get his hands on. Um, you went for things at the right time in the right way. And then if you get lucky, it's really hard to say, you know, you didn't deserve it because you picked the right options. I tried to I tried to be really mindful of doing this right safe moves first and limiting the amount my opponent could move around the pitch trying to control you know control where he goes as well as attacking and um, like in the game against Jimmy with the sidestepper you know I, I drew the guard out and that, that yeah. was really that was yeah. really a game changing game changing turn wasn't it you know and I, that's I, exactly what I said to Jimmy is that he 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 drew your guard away. 
Yeah, and I couldn't really do that. I couldn't do that against Hawker because of obviously all the increased strength. But what I could do, because he had no guard, it was pretty yep. safe to just leap in. You know, a 1D against a non block with a ward dancer ain't so bad, is it? You know, um, but yeah. I was able to. No, you can put your bludgers in, in some harm's way and, and see what happens, can't you? Yeah, yeah. But no, I'm. I'm ecstatic, you know. Um, thanks to Good Day Nick for running this. You know, um, it's it's a bit of a breath of fresh air into Blood Bowl Two, isn't it? And you know, Blood Bowl Two may be um, on its last legs uh, before Blood Bowl Three comes along. But do you know what? Um, it's going out with a bit of a bang with the likes of Good Day Nick running these tournaments. So my thanks to him as well because he's well, brilliant. I've always said I'm not so sure, you know, because even when we see it released, it's coming out with twelve races. There'll be race packs but I'm not sure they're going to drop in the first couple of months. It could easily be, easily be, easily be 18 months before we see it anywhere near as complete as BP2 is. Yeah, so when the, yeah. when the player base moves over, will be interesting to watch, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. And obviously beating a coach like Hawker, um, I've beat some really good coaches today, and I, I don't take that yeah, lightly as well. You did. Know. And Jimmy. Well, yeah. Um, I, I, do you know what? I, that sort of breaks my heart a little bit, you know, because I want, I want Jimmy to win the CCL on here and be even more sure. of a legend than he already is, you know. But, um, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, you know, you, when you're on the pitch, you've got to do your thing, in you? So, um, and... Look, I've always said titles are nice to have, wins are nice to have, but actually in Blood Bowl, you get respect by people that know their Blood Bowl liking the way you play. And, you know, some people say, I know my Blood Bowl and I love the way you played today. Oh, so you don't think you need a title to impress me, mate. You know, <laughs> the way you played the game impressed me. Yeah, yeah. do you know what? I'm, I'm just happy to have won the qualifier. And um, PC, you know I think Pound for Pound, you are one of the best bowl, blood bowlers on the planet. And no one will convince me otherwise. Um, Jimmy is my boy. Okay, I'm, I'm honoured to be a part of Team Fantastic. And, you know, I would take a bullet for Jimmy um, for as long as he decides to play blood bowl. And, yeah, and I love this community as well, you know. They'd have, um, they'd have to be shooting quite low, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> oh my god yeah <laughs> um thanks to everyone that's supporting me and likewise you know thank you to everyone that was giving me some stick as well um you know it's it's all publicity in it so uh, it's all good but yeah no i'm 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 going to go now guys because i am absolutely frazzled so once again thank you, you pc do that and give um, it, yeah, send and any of your kids that are still up to bed and give them a big hug yeah, Have yourself a cold beer, mate, you've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, owe, I owe my eldest two a, um, a couple of beers as well, I think, after this afternoon. So, uh, Jimmy, thank you so much, mate. I love you, my brother. I will catch up with you soon. Glorious. Hang on, Cheers, hang on just before you can boot, I've just had a, a Discord message from Hawker who, uh, who says he can't, uh, he can't find a way to get it to you directly. He wants to say, can I give a big well done to Kaz? He can't type it in the chat on Twitch, uh, but, but that, he wants to give you a big well done. Oh, no. Do you know what? He was... Um, we had a little bit of chat because I'm I'm not the chattiest guy in in a Blood Bowl two game, you know. Um, and but he was sure. really gracious, um, you know. Uh, turned 15, you know. He's put congrats, mate. You played really, really well. Um, and yeah. do you know what? It's um, you know I, I I've obviously got a bit of a reputation as being pretty hostile or pretty toxic, and I, that's thoroughly deserved. But <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was a really tough game, and you know my dice were as kind as they've been for the rest of the Look, tournament. Hawker is an incredibly classy coach, and I've met him. He's an incredibly classy guy. I'm sure he wouldn't wish you anything but you know a good night's rest and a, a feeling happy with yourself. Yeah, no, and um, yeah, so well played to everyone in my group, the group of death. It was it was amazing fun. I've really enjoyed it, and that's my lot. I'm off out. So <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> cheers, guys. I'll catch Peace up with you soon. Yeah, yeah, cheers, Calcium. And thank you very much, PC. It's been a pleasure. I'll still kill him first in Among Us, though. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs>